Welcome to Dalit Knowledge. Dalit Knowledge is the knowledge of the truth. This is Professor Dr. Karunyakara Lela, Dalit historian and an Ambedkarite thinker. This lecture is about RSS opposition to Dalit identity. Why does RSS oppose Dalit identity? To begin with, I would like to ask some questions. Why some Western interests are always creating controversy over the identity of the Dalit race? Perhaps no community identity is made so much controversial than the identity of the Dalit race. Why non-Dalits are so much interested to decide the identity of the Dalit race? Can't the Dalit race have the right to decide its own identity? Can't the Dalit race have a positive and prideful identity? Dalit race never opposed the usage of Brahmin identity. But why does RSS, an organization of Brahmin leaders, oppose Dalit identity? Over the period, Dalit identity has nationally emerged as the unifying force for 1,500 socially excluded outcasts in India. Nationally and internationally, only one identity that unites these 1,500 socially excluded outcasts and gives dignity to them is the Dalit identity. Dalit identity is neither indicates lower caste nor higher caste. Dalits are outside the caste system, hence Dalits are outcasts. Dalits were not the founders of the caste system. Brahmins were the founders of the caste system. When Dalits are outcasts, in other words, they are not part of the caste system, how could we brand them as lower caste or higher caste? Dalits are not interested to be lower or higher caste. They are outcasts and they want to be outside the caste system. Hence, they fought against the caste identities throughout history. Dalit identity is an anti-caste identity. By denying Dalit identity its rightful and respectful place in the public discourse is an unhistorical act. Some misguided and confused Dalits and non-Dalit Western interests involved in the politics of anti-Dalit identity. The discussion about Dalit identity is not about Dalit politics. It is about Dalit identity politics. The discussion here is not about anti-Dalit politics. It is about anti-Dalit identity politics. RSS is one such important organization that openly opposes Dalit identity. RSS, Rashtriya Swayam Sivak Sangh, a middle class Brahmin right wing organization dominated by Brahmin leadership openly involved in anti-Dalit identity politics. Its stated public stand is in opposition to Dalit identity. RSS is not a political organization. It is a socio-cultural organization. Dalit is a socio-cultural identity that challenges Brahminical socio-cultural hegemony. Hence, RSS is against Dalit identity and involves in anti-Dalit identity politics. It advocates for dropping the Dalit word from public discourse. It prefers scheduled caste identity for Dalits. Very interestingly, RSS is the only non-governmental organization in the whole of India that has taken an ideological position to oppose Dalit identity. To counter the argument of RSS, Dalits argue that scheduled caste is a constitutional term used for providing benefits of the government but Dalit is an identity for gaining self-respect and dignity. Generally, RSS is against the English language. The term scheduled caste is an English term. But interestingly, RSS supports the English term that is scheduled caste for an identity of Dalits and opposes the term Dalit, which is a non-English term. Dalit is a Hebrew term. 
most probably because of this reason it opposes Dalit identity. Hindustan Times in its edition dated April 24, 2018 reported with the headlines drop the term Dalit stick to SCST RSS tells its workers the Rastriya Swayam Sevak Sang RSS wants its volunteers to avoid using the word Dalit which it considers colonial appendage with derogatory connotations Senior functionaries from the group of RSS said, a senior RSS official speaking on condition of anonymity said the RSS bras now wants its volunteers and those associated with its many affiliates to opt for the constitutionally approved term scheduled caste SC and scheduled tribes ST instead of Dalit for scheduled caste and Adivasi for Schedule types. RSS thinker Rakesh Sinha openly said the term SCST is the most legitimate term that does not show any radical posturing to a particular community, unlike the term Dalit. RSS objection to Dalit identity as per RSS thinker Rakesh Sinha is since Dalit identity makes radical posturing to a particular community it should not be used who is that particular community rss thinker rakesh sinha is referring to he is referring to the brahmin community obviously rss does not want the usage of dalit identity because it makes radical posturing to the brahmin community it means that rss opposes any identity that questions the socio-cultural dominance of brahmin leadership over indian society dalit is a socio-cultural identity that questions the socio-cultural dominance of brahmin leadership over indian society dalit identity represents the dalit ideology as ambedkar throughout his life fought against brahminism dalitism is certainly against brahminism and the brahmin appeasement since rss is a socio-cultural organization dominated by brahmin leadership it has taken a stand to oppose anti-brahminical dalit identity Former Rajya Sabha MP, Professor Balchandra Mungirkar, who also a well-renowned Dalit academic and former Vice-Chancellor of the University of Mumbai and former member of Planning Commission of Government of India, described the RSS move as politically motivated. Dalit is inclusive. The sudden need to drop the term which is now used internationally is nothing but an attempt to divide the Dalit movement, Balchandra Mungerkar said. According to D. Shambhabu, Dalit academic at the Center for Policy Research, New Delhi, the word Dalit has been picked by the communities themselves. It is how they identify themselves and take pride in. How can Dalits be stopped from using this word which they have picked? This is what Dr. Shambhabu says. This is what Hindustan Times reported. I would like to say that Dalits have no objection to the usage of the scheduled caste term to get governmental benefits. But the life of any race is beyond the governmental benefits. Dalit is an anti-caste identity. It destroys caste identities with the Dalit racial identity. It unites all 1,500 castes into one community and one race. Dalit identity questions caste, casteism, racial inequality and racial injustice. Dalit identity represents racial equality and racial justice. Hence, the Dalit race has no hesitation to take pride in Dalit identity. Next time when you oppose Dalit identity, think once again, are you falling into the trap of RSS agenda? Are you falling into the trap of RSS strategy? Ambedkar used Dalit identity in Maharashtra to unite caste and scheduled caste within the Dalit race.
he founded akil bharatiya dalit federation which in english known as all india shuddle caste federation let us take pride of being dalit i am proud to be dalit are you proud to be dalit i am being the follower of ambedkar i am being the dalit historian i take pride in dalit identity i am proud that i have born in dalit race think once again don't oppose dalit identity own the dalit identity take pride in dalit identity let us build dalit identity based politics let us build dalit identity based society with the liberal values based on the principles of liberty equality fraternity and justice jabin jabarat thank you very much